touchdown. Creativity from Kyle Trask as that play just about came apart at the seams. An unorthodox way. Well, watch the left foot of Kyle Trask. He's going to get stepped on by his left guard, Richard Garage, right? It's really going to be a fake dive, an automatic pitch to the tailback, but broken play. And then really good reaction by him. Kind of turns into like the speed option. It's like whatever means necessary. Laterally, not penetrating. Short throw, little bubble. Chris Ottman Bell inside the 10, the 5, touchdown Minnesota. Chase James. Yeah, well, Mick McCall has his quarterback in, in rhythm right now. And, and now they're thinking touchdown. Edward Zila with a spin, and he'll have one. Touchdown, LSU. I think there's too many men on the field as well for Alabama, though, to play it. Now. Purdy gets rid of it. Survive! <laughs> Out by Ohio State today. Oh, how about this? A little onside pooch kick. Wow! Fielded on the run by Chris Alave. where that come from? Watch this. Okay, here's Alave bottom of your screen. As he's going, look at the formation from Maryland. There's nobody over there, so I'm sure they work and work and work on like a little pooch. On the offense on Ohio State number three, his first of the game, 15-yard penalty. Tremendous college player at Ohio State. Three-man rush. Clifford again has time. Throws, and it is intercepted in the end zone by Jordan Howden. I'm not sure if Clifford was throwing this ball for Hamler Minnesota. or for Dotson. This is their second of the half. This is a 30-second timeout. Watch Dotson get pulled down, and the ball is thrown behind Hamler and intercepted. Not sure if it was going to one or five, but it was behind Hamler, and Howden was there for the third interception of the ball game for Minnesota. Hefty set for him here. Bringing pressure with Mike Rose, who couldn't get there in time. It's Lamb hitting the accelerator, cutting it against the green, hurling into the clear. There goes CeeDee Lamb. He gets the block. He gets inside the five. He is... I believe in. Can you believe it? He's in. Touchdown. to the top of the screen. Blackman cuts it loose, middle of the field, breaking away Matthews. DJ Matthews cuts to the outside, and Matthews dies for the pylon, touchdown! The big question here is on the back end, did he get in the end zone when he dove? He did hit the pylon with the ball. They bring Malik Knowles, a wide receiver, in the backfield. You see him leave, and that's where the ball is going. Knowles is wide open. He's got a first down. Makes a defender miss. The race is on, and Knowles is inside the 20. He's taking it in. A 70-yard touchdown. Boy, they had that set up beautifully and executed it to perfection. Little end around. Kadarius Tony. What a move. And another. Look at Kadarius Tony go. Finally tripped up at midfield. Whatever jo her joystick is being used in video games today. A square R1 L1 making everybody miss the suddenness of Tony. Diggs and Sertan for Alabama. And Rosenberg's punt goes back to the 23. Wow! 
don't know how Waddle got away from that whiplash. And now he's coming the other way. Jalen Waddle across midfield. He's got a convoy. Waddle, he's gone. Touchdown. The top punt returner in the nation just showed you why. And here's Johnson running right. He's got the first down, and he hurdles it. Wildcat, and is out near the 45. He jumped over Goldsby. Picked up 20. Secures and captures the edge. They lose contain. And he goes, whoop. That was impressive. Easy vert. Extra yardage. Yellen tipped and intercepted. Christian Rector picks it off and USC survives. On this play, he comes in, gets up, bats it up. Look at this. You're talking about a defensive lineman, 6'4", 270, who shows you his athletic ability on this play. Wow. And it looks like he did put it away. They don't score, that is, LSU. Edward Zeller. They will score. Touchdown. Trey Hill and Cade Mays, both injured tonight. From back for Pickens. Did he come up with that? He did. Touchdown, Georgia. Over where again? They'll look at this a few hundred times, but for now, it's a Bulldogs touchdown. And just the second touchdown of the game for Georgia. We talked about Jake Fromm trying to find some confidence in these young receivers. And as a true freshman, George Pickens has the most talent of any receiver on this Georgia team. He's a drop back from Mitchell across the middle. Hits Tyson Hill. Tyson Hill flips right over top of a man, breaking for the end zone. Can he get there? Still on his feet. Muscling into the end zone. Touchdown, Vulcans. Tyson Hill with an unbelievable showing of strength. Take a look at the replay once again here. Mitchell hits Hill, breaking right across. He's got it. Flips completely over and stays on his feet. Unbelievable concentration, patience. Dodges off one, shakes off two more. No one's going to be denying him. It's Gerald Georgia. Out of that shotgun, he'll roll the pocket. Graham sends it to the end zone. And it's caught for a touchdown. Malachi Carter in the end zone. The official focus because it's, it's good coverage by Nick Grant. Stride for stride. He's right in position there. The ball underthrown slightly. All this happening with just 37 seconds to go in the quarter. How about Carter? Man coverage, loud end zone. Josh Palmer. A little too much air and a little too far outside, but watch that left foot. Ooh. Ooh, I got him in. I think he's got to dance. Rolling on the field with an incomplete pass. The previous play is under review. Look at the body control. I mean, he almost does a complete 360. Comes all the way around and gets that left foot down. Yes. Very Barishnikov of him. That is a touchdown. It's a matchup that Baylor likes. They throw the fade and caught. Denzel Mims. Two, only five foot 11, 160 pounds. And really, Mims got up a little early on that one. Jumped a little early, but still able to haul that. They're playing games with you. They do bring some heat coming from the outside, and this off the back foot is a 50-50 ball that London 
goes high for, and now they're in field goal range at the very least. Got it from Croswell. He took it away from him. Croswell was in the better position, got his hands on it first, and from him. You're absolutely right. That's a rebound. Now, he will play. The G-Layer, the tailback, right out to the left. Burrow plays corner. What a catch by Moss. Was he in? That looked like his daddy. Holy cow. Well, it's a perfect throw. Matched up on Diggs to the outside, and that's Randy S. Did he have his foot down? I appreciate that very much to all those he served with and so proud of all of them and this one is going to be broken up and intercepted and the Duke Blue Devils picking that one off Michael Carter and as it was intended for McKinley a man down 10.33 to go and I'm not sure this one hits the ground it Gabbert the snap off with four goes deep intended for Jack Sorensen no flag on the play covered by Elias Motley I tell you what Sorensen made a circus catch in the back of the end zone but I think he was out of bounds catch after the tip right here with his left hand he brings it in oh, oh they may they have to look review at that, that yeah, one they're gonna want to look at that yeah I mean, it was an incredible circus catch if he got that right foot down, he possessed the ball at the same time. After further review, the receiver controlled the football and had one foot down in bounds. Therefore, touchdown. Their defense was on a long time. Duggan to the end zone. It's got a man. Fold. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. He didn't control to the ground anyway. To Valence Hunt. After reviewing the play, the receiver controls the ball while airborne. He gets a hand down in bounds. The receiver survived.